Let's break down lossy and lossless compression. Lossy compression reduces file sizes by removing as much data as possible. As a result, it can cause some degradation that reduces the image quality. However, it shouldn't be too noticeable when using a balanced compression ratio. Here's an example. On the left is the original at 347 kilobytes. The picture on the right has a 52% reduction in size bringing it down to 163 kilobytes. As you can see, there is no discernible difference in appearance despite the significant reduction in file size. However, different compression levels can affect the quality of compressed images. The main benefits of lossy compression are data elimination and size reduction. Creating smaller file sizes can improve your site's performance and loading times. In turn, this can boost your UX and SEO. On the other hand, there are a few drawbacks of lossy compression. Firstly, you cannot restore files to their original forms. In other words, the process is irreversible. Furthermore, the data elimination can compromise the image quality. Overall, lossy compression is a trade-off. The smaller the file size, the faster the performance. However, the more data lost, the more the image quality will suffer. Unlike lossy compression, lossless compression doesn't remove any critical data from the image file. Instead, it strips metadata and non-essential information that doesn't impact the picture's appearance or quality. While this compression method can help make the file sizes slightly smaller, the difference is not usually significant. The main advantage of lossless compression is you don't have to worry about degrading the quality of a picture or making it look pixelated. Also, unlike with lossy compression, you can restore an image to its original format without any data loss. WordPress automatically compresses JPEG images when you upload pictures to your media library. You can adjust this level of compression by editing your functions.php file. Regardless of the default settings, you can optimize your files further with lossy or lossless compression. You can use Photoshop or a WordPress image optimization plugin, such as Imageify, WP Smush, or short pixel. You could also use a free online tool such as Tiny PNG. So when should you use each of these? To speed up your site, Google recommends lossy compression. You could also use gzip compression to minify your files further. In most cases, we suggest using lossy compression for WordPress images. The data loss is largely unnoticeable, but it can significantly improve your loading times. Therefore, this method is ideal for e-commerce shops, portfolio sites, and blogs. Typically, lossless compression is best for text-heavy images and pictures with transparent backgrounds. It will retain the crisp appearances of your images while also reducing their file sizes. Of course, there are more ways to optimize your WordPress website, which we cover in other videos on our channel. And there you go. That's all you need to know about lossless and lossy compression. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.